Relics and Rarities is sponsored by The Rook and the Raven, whose unique disc-bound tabletop gaming notebooks grow and evolve throughout your entire campaign. Find your mischief and misadventure only at therookandtheraven.com. pulling yourself along it's just getting a little bit harder you can feel the water pushing against you but your muscles are strong because you know you have to get back for your new friends you're in the last zone your lungs are starting to burn 16 16 plus 6 so you pull yourself 22. through this time there's not even a gasp you just come up like a swan <laughs> <laughs> coming right out. I assume you throw your shoes back on. Fantastic. And you crawl through there, confident that you have brought back good information for your team. You all have been sitting, waiting, attuning to your items, getting used to the feel of them so that you, when, whenever the battle comes, you know exactly what you're gonna do. Here comes tiny little Zora, <laughs> pops out, and Caroline, again, after her maneuvers, pops out after her. I did 150 push-ups yes, while you were right. going. <laughs> That's great. Just thought you'd like to know. Hey, you guys. Yes? Mm -hmm. Maybe I should take these shoes off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I liked you better. Yeah, oh, and you're the same height as the oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, Beryl. You're very welcome. How are you? <sighs> I'm a little... Just a little wet. A little yeah. wet? Yeah. You're very brave. Well... I knew that I had to, because we're all in this together. So, we've seen the two. We've seen Ulu and Akiva, and they are moving boxes. So we together? think that they're preparing to leave. Akiva is directing these small creatures with scales. Not small, the small. The gilly big, the, big creatures. <laughs> Gillymen that are large creatures. Yes, they're burly. Yes. Uh, I just have such a large belief in myself that sure. they looked very tiny. I love it. Yes. Uh, and so they are moving boxes out of a passageway that is right where our entrance would be if we come in from the other side. Mm -hmm. Right, Caroline? Yeah. yeah. And Ulu mm -hmm. is just standing there. Mm. How close is Akiva to Ulu? They're within feet of each other. Yeah. They're sitting over, presiding over a desk. Wonderful. Um, so they're very close to one another, and I think that we can, we can take them. Mm. Caroline does say, we, we, we saw no sign of Margosa if she is there. Mm. We did not. All and right. I say, Caroline, thank you so much for your bravery. Mm. When we get out of this place, I have a job for you. I own a security firm. <laughs> He goes, oh, uh, thank you very much. I, I, I don't know what I will do after this ordeal if we make it. Well, hopefully we will. first drink ale and celebrate. <laughs> all right, so what is the plan? So. I have an idea. That you've all been scheming yes. <laughs> while she was away. We have been scheming. Yes, yes we have. Will you look into the picture frame, unveil it from the handkerchief, and turn yourself into Caroline? We're going to pose you as a captive that myself and Viros discovered trying to leave the grounds. As part of the Glockenspiel Security Corporation. Oh my yes. goodness. This is how Dr. Akiva recognizes me. She thinks I'm Dr. Larange. And she trusts Dr. Larange. She trusts me, and I'm going to tell her that there's been breach in her Lair. village. Mm. Lair, yeah. yes. Let's do it. And you're part of a resistance that now she's found as a kind of a insurgent. Is it possible that she will kill me immediately? I say be battle ready. Okay. We all must be. I'm ready. Look and also, I've seen a look in Akiva's eye. I really think she likes me. I'm still going on that hunch. Well, Viros, I yes. shall pass this on to you then. But I gave you that fruit punch. Wait yes. a second. If, <laughs> is this the love potion? It sure is. If I get her to drink this, then I'm certain my charisma would put it over the hop. <laughs> is All it right. the number nine vintage? Yes. Oh. <laughs> it is. 
Perfect. Perhaps let's put it in a less conspicuous <laughs> bottle. I'll put it in my water skin. Mm. No, right. so maybe we'll toast or something, you know? Yes. So you pour out your water skin yeah. and fill it with the Filter of Love potion. There we are. All right. Now, I, I'm not comfortable completely with you going in on your own. I shall accompany you. But How? In a different form. And I'll meld down into Ricky Mouse. No! <laughs> oh, I love Ricky he's Mouse. Back. He's back. And he I'll, fooled her once. Yeah, I'll scamper up into your once. pocket. And while you all do this, ah. I shall make my way to the vantage point that Zora made her way to before. Yeah. And there, I shall meditate and gather the power of my ancestors, and I will attempt to bait Ulu's one orb of destruction. So as you say that, Ricky's gonna pull out a familiar vial and he'll hand it over. You're going to need this, but I don't have many of these left. I feel that the spirits of my ancestors will protect me, but you are part of my tribe now as well, Ricky. Yes. And so I will take your strength, and hopefully with it, I can sustain this blow. If I have identified this magic correctly, that protection from fire should come in handy. So, Zora looks into the picture frame, as she does, her whole body sort of pixelates, and suddenly before you stands another Caroline. Trippy. And then I, like I do not feel comfortable with you going in on your own. I shall watch over you, but in a different form. <laughs> and now I'll transform. Now. The Ricky Mouse. Ricky Mouse. We love Ricky Mouse. <laughs> yeah, it's a rat, but it's a rat. <laughs> Ricky Rat. And I'll is scamper good. up into your pocket. You're going to walk in with Ricky Mouse in your pocket, mm -hmm. holding on to Zora, pretending to be Caroline. Mm -hmm. Yes. Saying that you are a member of Glockenspiel security. Mm -hmm. With Viros. With Viros. Yes. Viros Sorry. is actually going to be holding her. Viros yes. is going to hold her. You're saying that you are Glockenspiel security, and that you would like to speak to Akiva because her security has been breached in her lair. Yeah, but lucky timing. This was a follow-up appointment from okay, the submarine. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and Meanwhile, I found Beryl, a resistance. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna go with Caroline through, through everything, or are you gonna go alone? I'm gonna go alone with the baby shoes. You're gonna go alone with the baby shoes. Baby shoes. And sneak through mm -hmm. this way. Okay, what would you like Caroline to do? I think you should take Caroline with you. Take Caroline with me? Because she's okay, seen yeah. yeah, I'll take Caroline okay, with me. Okay, so Caroline will go with She knows the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. That girl. She's tough. <laughs> She's the toughest. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. Ready as ready? I'll ever be. Are you ready? <laughs> Should we arm Caroline with anything? Yes. She has her spear. Let's bring it in. Her Come stick on. spear. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Annabella's writing her last will and testament. Annabella. <laughs> <laughs> you should have done that before. <laughs> I leave. I leave this is my hardly the time goblet to okay. and my, out my mandolin. All right, guys. I believe in all of you. I believe in us too. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> we can do I this. think that means Ricky loves us. We can do this. We can do this. We can. We together, shall. they are strong, but together, we are stronger. We are ultimate. <laughs> that was a full idiom. Oh, idiom. Yeah. She did it. Barrel, you're growing. And you're about to be shrinking. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are all set up here to show you sort of the layout of the cave here. Up here is where Zora and Caroline came up and did their surveillance, and then they walked around a ledge at the edge. This is where Beryl and Caroline will return to. Mm -hmm. Here is where Ulu and Akiva are discussing their plans. These are the Gillymen. This is the little exit where they have been going out bringing the packages that they carry. Here is the entrance that your cavern connects to. What's this again? I'm sorry. This is another rock formation that kind of, this is just sort of to mark the space. Okay. okay. So it's something you can climb on, anything like that. Okay. We have your mini as Caroline. This yeah. is Caroline. <laughs> this is Caroline's version. So, so yes, oh, so for timing, Beryl, mm -hmm. how, how do you want this to work out? Because is the idea to give you time to go through this whole process and get up here? No. Okay. It would probably be the opposite because I don't want them to have to distract for too long. So I'll go first okay. with, with Caroline as my guide in the baby shoes, through the caverns, through the water, and then I will wait here All right. at my vantage point, waiting at which for point the moment. They will then start. Yes. So you, you're going to give her 20 minutes, sure. something like that? Mm -hmm. All right, let's pull you through these caves. OK. So Wish me luck. You slip on your shoes. You get small Ooh. enough. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. The crawl through the cave goes fairly uneventfully. You watch Caroline do it again. She's clearly got a system. You're able to just squeak by in your size. Mm -hmm. As you come to the pool, 
Again, mm -hmm. she says, this is, this is long. Now, how long can you hold your breath? I'm going to slip off the shoes and be like, I'm actually a star swimmer wow. for uh, the Wildland Water Waiters <laughs> <laughs> local swim team. <laughs> you won't have any problems here, okay. Caroline. So your constitution is plus three, so you can hold your breath mm -hmm. for four minutes, mm -hmm. which is incredible. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, make a, and you're going to use the rope as well. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you're going to make an advantaged athletics check to see if you can uh, okay. get through the first section. Caroline goes first. She ducks herself under the water and out of view, pulling herself along the rope. You follow. 24. You pull yourself super strong. You're not even feeling it in your lungs yet. Mm -hmm. You get to the second section. Mm -hmm. She beckons to you. Try to continue. Mm. Oh, and that 20. <gasps> you even surpass Caroline as you get up to her and you're like, whatever, lady, <laughs> slowing me down. Uh, you get back to the final section. It's still, you're like, fine. It's not mm. even hard. Go ahead. Mm. Uh, 26. Yeah. You're like, what was she complaining yeah. about? This is like nothing at all. You really are a champion swimmer. Mm -hmm. you, you come out again gracefully up at the top. You even reach your hand in yeah. to help Caroline mm -hmm. out behind you. She gives you the shh, and I'd like you to make a stealth check to get oh, up on no. your ledge. <laughs> uh, 10? A 10. You scramble up onto mm -hmm. the ledge, and unfortunately, once you get up there, Caroline is sort of because as you make noise, one large boulder tips over and rolls down the edge, landing here. And I'm banging on the door. <laughs> you I guys hear it? Banging on the door. No door, it's just a cat. I am walking in. You walk in. right in. Right in. <laughs> Dr. Kiva, it's Dr. Lerange. I'm here with a follow-up from Glockenspiel. You are a hard woman to track down. You immediately see Ulu grabs her long sword and pulls it out. She's looking back at where that sound came from, but she comes back to you. She says, Oh my god, that's beautiful. Kiva, you know this woman? Yeah. I'm Dr. Lerange. Akiva looks suspicious. Akiva, we met on the submarine. Remember, this is the heir of Glockenspiel? Listen, I got something to tell you. I came here to do a follow-up, okay, after we found out how faulty your system was on the boat. I took two laps around this place and I found a resistance member planning a revolt. A pretty pathetic revolt because they super skinny and underfed. <laughs> but I just thought I should show you this. I mean, right? Akiva walks up to you and she says, no one, not even my security team, knows of this location. Explain yourself, La Ronge. Look in your pocket. I sewed in a device that could track you from underwater to land. And the, how do you think I got here? You think this beautiful necklace I'm wearing is just a necklace? There's a monitor inside. I can follow your every movement. This is what I'm here to tell you about. You need to get these for all your ghillie men. <laughs> Make a deception check. <laughs> it's a dirty 20. Okay. Okay. Against her better judgment, she likes you. She reaches into her pocket. She's like, I don't feel anything. Of course you don't feel anything. Don't then you it. would know. Listen, this girl stinks. Can you take her outside? It's just too much, and I don't need her in front of the client. Of course. Ulu stares down Caroline. She walks up to you, stands over you, and she says, Are you being insolent, girl? Not anymore. I take her back. Uh -huh. Just take her out of sight, out of the hall. That was good. It went really well. <laughs> you guys disappear. Ulu looks around. She says, I'm going to investigate the noise. And she turns around and starts to head around this direction. Can I still do something as that's happening? Yep. She's moving. As that's happening, mm -hmm. I go, first of all, let's get this on you and just see how that looks. And I hand it to Akiva. But she before she... Uh -huh. Put it on, because, uh -huh. you know, that's uh -huh. kind of a, a heavy ask. Uh -huh. I go, oh, girl, you got something on your face. <laughs> Could you, yeah. Just check that out real quick. It's a smudge right here. Who's okay. That? You see that she wants to be resistant, but, like, you have a really pretty necklace, and you want her to look at herself, which is the most amazing thing ever. Mm -hmm. So she looks in, and she's like, I don't have anything. I look perfect. Oh, 
At this point, back behind, the image of Caroline disappears off of your body and you are back to looking like Zora. I close this up and I put uh -huh. it in my pocket and I go, you know what? I've had something in my eye all day. Is there a bathroom or anywhere we can go look so I can get this out? Oh my God, girl. No, okay? You have to go like all the way down. I'll only tell you this because you're like my security officer. But like, there's a river that comes in from the ocean, and I've got my submarine parked like right out there. That is the only place you can go. It's a travesty. Oh, jeez. And is it back where we came? No, no, no. My ghillie men are going to the boat to go service it, oh. fill it up, you know, lade it with all of our stuff. Right, 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 right. Okay, perfect. Let me just let the heir to the company know what's Very going good. on. Oh, my God. Oh, my yeah, I mean, that guy, you like. I mean, I get nepotism or whatever, but like... It's pretty crazy. Yeah. I start to come out okay. and I say, will you come with me? To go talk to your like manservant? I kind of told him he could do a drawing of you. He thinks you're really beautiful. <laughs> And he brought his sketch pad. Oh my God. Do you have like, like, I'm totally blushing. Do you have one second? Okay, you gotta make it quick. All right, we're like in the middle of a big thing here. <laughs> so she follows you out. Meanwhile, Ulu is coming Ooh. around the corner. She is peering up right where she heard that sound. <clears throat> Perfect. And where she can see you. Yeah. Like I am. Yeah, that's okay. Pop the potion. She's hiding. You pop the potion? Yeah, I pop the potion Ricky gave me. Okay. And I put my hands together and ask my ancestors for strength. Okay. And I enter, you know, Chief pops up. Uh-huh. And she's like, about ready to get your ass kicked again? I'm like, Chief, <laughs> please, not now. She tells me to remember the strength of my blood. Uh-huh. And I enter a battle rage. Okay. And as I do, I stand up there, uh -huh. <laughs> slant with one hand on my knee, Drinking an ale, and I say, Foul thought, long have I waited to battle you. She looks at you and she says, The Trapper. Mmm, how's your ankle feeling? <laughs> what did you give up for power? She turns, your she, looks? she strides forward. She <laughs> says, your love? I gave the ultimate. I gave my life. What are you willing to give? I have more than you'll ever have in life, and therefore I have more to give than you will ever have to give. Was that little orb your only a one? Confused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good at that. <laughs> Roll an intimidation check. Okay. Uh, Twenty-two. <laughs> With this. She had her long sword out. She sheathes it. Mm -hmm. She says, I don't allow anyone to speak to me that way. And you see her start to move her hands in a certain shape. Mm -hmm. And as she strides closer to you, she forces this orb out right in your direction. Mm -hmm. Make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, mm. Lord. Would this be considered a trap? <laughs> Well, <laughs> I mean, like maybe like a danger set up. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah. I mean, you certainly sense danger. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and take oh, advantage yes. on it. Nicest GM ever. Go ahead and ever. take advantage on it. I've fallen in love with you all. 18! Oh. All right. You are able, as it's coming, because you're ready for it, because you knew mm. it, because you wanted it. Mm. You were you were set and you already had a plan about a certain place you could put your foot to kind of get yourself up and out of the way. But yes. you will take half of this damage. Yes. All right. Here we go. That is seven. Mm -hmm. Plus 11 is mm -hmm. 18. Mm -hmm. Plus another nine mm -hmm. is 27. 27. Plus another nine mm -hmm. is 36. Plus another seven. 43. You'll take half of that. That okay. is okay. that is the okay. uh, fire damage. Mm -hmm. Which I will take, take half of further. Half of further. Yes. Yes. So it's 22 down to 11. To 11. Yes. So you'll take 11 of the fire damage. <sighs> All right. However, mm. after that fire singes you, the magic that was in it, you start to feel your life force begin to get pulled out of you. Oh, no, oh, my oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. 10, uh -huh. 19, mm -hmm. 22, mm -hmm. 33, mm -hmm. and another four is 37. You'll 37. take half of that necrotic. And what type of damage? This is necrotic. But I have resistance, resistance to, to necrotic. So you'll take another half from that. Take nine necrotic. 
<laughs> um, I'm at 32. I'm hurting because I normally am at 54, but I'm okay. Yeah. So as she sees that you did this, you jumped out of the way, and mm. somehow you just gritted your teeth and didn't take the damage that she's used to seeing, you see the anger. Mm -hmm. Her eyes glow brighter, and she starts to stride for you. Yeah. Let's do an initiative order. Mm -hmm. You guys are still talking with Akiba out there, so we'll keep yeah. that in mind, but we'll set it up so that as you enter the fray, we know where you are. Mm -hmm. Cool? Okay. Sure. All right. So one. one. And you're going to add initiative. <laughs> I got a nine. Me too. Okay, a nine for barrel. Mm -hmm. She already went, though, so she doesn't get another attack, right? <laughs> a six for six. Virus. I got a nine. You got a nine as well. Your dex is probably higher. Plus two. Plus two. And yours mm. is plus zero. Yeah, Mine's so. plus zero. Ricky. Seven. <laughs> Seven for Ricky and Zora. Eight. Eight for Zora. All right, so we will count that as Ulu's turn. We will start there. Anna, that means you are next. So, Akiva and you from this other, you hear this, this whoosh of fire and light and the, and the shouting of Beryl because it's just echoing yeah. through this chamber. Akiva goes, what the fuck are you guys up to? I look in the mirror yes. and I become Akiva. You become Akiva, all right. I turn to Akiva and I yes. literally try to like motion her to look at me and say, I need to talk to you. It's been days. You need to understand something. You're probably the type of woman, I'm guessing from your sisters, who is the obvious beauty. She tries to break away no, wait, no, wait. her sister. Listen to me. You are the one that they're always intimidated to talk to. You're the one with the beauty, and why would a man, or a woman for that matter, go up to you with confidence? I have that. All I could do was think about your beauty and your power, and I'd like to, well, one, I'd like to take a small sketch. I can't get it out of my head. And then secondly, I thought maybe- She throws her head back and her hat falls off her hair, starts to fall down off over her shoulders. This is too much. This is more than what I've dreamt with the flowing essence of your hair. And I thought maybe we could have a toast together, a no, quick one. I've, I have to go help my sister, all right? We got some plans. I mean, okay, you're kind of cute, all right? And kind I of like knew a, it. I knew you liked me. Like a beneath me kind of way, well, but I gotta go. Quickly, just one quick toast to wish you luck. Make I a know persuasion you, check, You've got please. such big things ahead persuasion of you. Persuasion check, please. This is the most important persuasion <laughs> check of your life. And it's for the worst. <laughs> so it's a, it's a six. She leans into you and she says, I wouldn't let you draw my picture if you were, I don't know, like cute or something. And she bins on her heel and starts to walk back into the chamber to help Ulu. Oh, okay, but guys this is still kind of my turn. Yes. I throw my <laughs> still your fire turn. gem! <laughs> ah! This bitch shows up! <laughs> I'm ready to kill Ulu! <laughs> so, <laughs> as, 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 as Viros is trying to get Akiva to keep her, and she keeps trying to break away. And you've looked in the picture, and now you look like Akiva. Instead, you pull out this gem, and you throw it into the arena. It cracks on the ground, and out rises a fiery fire elemental who turns and locks eyes with you. What would you wish? I wish you to take down this undead, stinky piece of shit. <laughs> Says Akiva. Ah, damn. Akiva. <laughs> but it's um, me. It immediately listens to you. Now roll an initiative for it. No problem. Plus three. So right. a five. It's a five. All right. That's the fire so elemental. Cool. Hey guys, that took like 22 damage. <laughs> yeah. I got you. Got you. Okay. Got you. All right. Uh, we that is Anna's turn. Yeah. Yes. You commanded it on its turn. It will try to, to the best of its ability, do what you told it to do, which is to destroy that ugly bitch. <laughs> uh, Beryl, it is your turn now. First off, I'm gonna pop into my flask, which I sadly had to pour my whiskey out of. Yes. And take the potion of healing the Professor Roundland so kindly gave me. So 2d4 plus 2. Okay. And the one. Fabulous. That's a 4. Okay. So that's 5 plus 2, so 7. seven. So I'm back, back, back up to 39 now. Okay. Yay. <laughs> Yay. And then, uh, this is right after she's just hit me with that, right? I do my classic, start stretching, <laughs> and take the posture for my lawn darts. 
They've been lawn yeah. darts. They've been harpoons. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna use my javelins, but I throw them like lawn darts, yeah. underhand, and like mm -hmm. there's a whole like aiming process that goes with them. <laughs> Me and Viros have a lot of practice with these oh, things. Oh, such fun. Yeah. Ooh. 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 So I got a 26. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now these you said the 30 feet though. Yes. Which you are way well okay. out of, so you're gonna have to do this advantage. Uh, 19. Does not hit. Ooh, ooh, okay. Um, All right. Do you have two attacks? Because you're raging, right? I used I one action to... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh you used... You, no, I you used, used one action to drink a potion. That's right, you used the action to a potion, which means you mm. actually don't get to attack. Yeah. Right? So unfortunately, yes, yeah, so that's fine. You drink your potion, you heal up, you mm. stride down, you talk your trash. Yeah, I throw the javelin, it flies right through her legs, <laughs> and I'm like, five points. <laughs> like, I, like, I planned that, like, because the perfect goal. Fantastic. Uh, that is your turn, Mara. <laughs> That's my turn. Zora, we are up to you. <sighs> so Akiva has turned and is starting to walk back into so we the space. You can right use these now. Yeah. Well, I... Akiva's ahead of you. So she's the one with the, the fancy green smoke coming out of her. <laughs> so I'm going to use my divine smite. We'll see if you hit. Plus six. And you're attacking uh, Akiva, right? Fuck, what was it? Natty one. No! Oh. That, that wasn't, that wasn't, I was listening. You were saying, what was it? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta roll that back. <laughs> um, so yeah, so so you you draw, it's a long sword or great sword? It's a great sword. Great sword, you draw your great sword and, and with all of the might, yes, the might and the, the confidence in the world, you stride forward to try and hit her and you slip, falling prone on the ground. Your sword skids five feet ahead of you. Well. You have not moved on your turn, though, I don't think. You could get up. So you could stand up and grab your weapon. Okay. I'm going to stand All up. All right. So you, 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 you stride forward to try and, and get her. You stumble forward and you think, but you scramble to your feet and continue to run, grabbing your sword, standing up, ready to go again. Okay. That is Zora's turn. Ricky. Ugh. In rat form, I'm going to scurry out of Annabella's pocket. Yeah. I'm going to scamper around everything that's happening. Okay. So I'm going to go five. 10, 15, 20, and move again. Mm -hmm. uh, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay. And I'm, so I'm going to stay there. Dashing over there. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Viros, you're up next. I shout at Akiva on her way back in yes. and I say, Akiva, how dare you deny me? Intimidation, I assume. Yeah. Go for it. It's a 17 Ooh. plus four. Now I'm pissed off. She stops. She turns, flipping her hair as she whips around to you, and she goes, no one talks to me like that. But you can tell she kind of likes it yeah. a little bit. <laughs> Get over here. She takes like two steps forward and is like, I don't wanna. <laughs> Have a drink with me and reconsider this moment, my darling. I am the best one. You are, clearly. I mean, get over yourself, get over here. Show them, show your sisters. She walks a couple of steps closer to you. It's a that good thing you didn't hit her. <laughs> Fire elementals turn. <clears throat> Great. So um, you want it essentially, take a look at it. Mm -hmm. I think it slams twice, slams two touch attacks. And then I think if she starts her turn next to it, she's gonna take some fire damage as well. Mm -hmm. There's a trait for that. So what do I roll? Just to get over there. So two you're just gonna, you, all we're gonna do is we're gonna move it push it up next to Ulu. It's gonna sneak up upon her back and reach out its hands to touch Ulu from behind. The first time it enters a creature's space on a turn, that yeah. creature takes 1d10 fire damage. Okay, so as soon as you come approach it, mm -hmm. just in its space, yeah. you're gonna roll a d10 and she's gonna take that. Mm -hmm. roll, melt, melt. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a roll. A th three? Three. three. Yeah. And catches fire. Ooh. Okay. So, so three to start, right? Mm -hmm. Three from that, and she's on fire. Mm -hmm. gotcha. She's on fire. And also will take uh, 1d10 fire damage at the start of each of its turns. Each turn. I told you I'd give you some good stuff. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so now make your touch attacks. So uh, the, the, the fire elemental comes up behind her, reaching out its hands to grab Ulu from behind. She actually enters into the same space that Ulu occupies, and as she does, Ulu's cape catches fire. Rake your attacks. Tries to touch her twice. Six plus six. six okay, four. so a 12 is my first one. Uh, full, full on with the bonuses? Yeah. yeah. Okay, doesn't And then hit. one more, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. 
19. Doesn't hit. Fuck. So she reaches out to touch once and twice, but as she does, she can't get past the armor, and Ulu now is starting to try and steal her way through it, but she is on fire. Okay. You notice the gilly man there at the end. Mm -hmm. Shit. No, gilly man, no. Gilly continues <clears throat> to carry his package oh. and walk on. Thank God. Oh. He, has, he does not even seem to have noticed that there is a battle going on. I'm really happy I did not try to stage a gilly man resistance. Yeah. That idea was briefly floated. The party convinced me that the gilly men were not intelligent. <laughs> Beryl had a hard time with that. Yeah. She was sure that if she took on the appearance of a gilly man and attempted to stage a gilly man wow. resistance, that they wow. would become her brothers in battle. There were a lot of ways this could have gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah there certainly was. Been really bad. I'm really glad that was flopped. <laughs> It is now Akiva's turn. She's, she's, she's looking at you. She does do so. She sort of sweeps her arm over the front of her, and you kind of feel like she shimmers mm. a little bit, like she's done something to herself. And she says, all right, you want to paint my picture? Try. OK. <laughs> but first a drink? I don't know. I kind of oh. want to keep my wits about me around you. Oh, this is the beauty of this. It's really not like something that you know, tingles you off of creation. It's just very, very straight up. Almost tastes like water. Yeah. I had my fill. Try it. You want to drink it first? Sure. You gonna take a drink? No. Oh. You don't understand. I'm going to make you think I've taken it. All right. You can try and fake it. I'm going to like just you know that whole thing. So All right. just an inhale. <laughs> so you do that. Do a deception. Yep. It's a nine plus one. So it's a ten. So it's a ten. So I just you know. Go ahead. She's like, don't make me laugh. Really drink it, okay? Oh. Oh. I try again. Is that okay? <laughs> um, what do you do differently this time that's going to make it go better? I let a little bit go down the side of my mouth like I sloppily drank it. Totally. Roll it again. <clears throat> it's a seven plus one. One. She's like, oh my god, I thought maybe like this was kind of going to go somewhere. I was really excited about like slumming it for a day. No, no, wait, no, totally wait. totally disappointing. No, no, no. I'm sorry, I was just a little, I'm a little, I had ale earlier, that's the difference. I'll have some. So I take the smallest. Oh, you take oh. a drink? I, just take your shirt off. Just take your shirt off. Sorry, just take your shirt off. Sorry, intimidating. That's Akiva's turn. You we're gonna pause on this oh. little oh. game. Okay, okay. No, I didn't, I didn't take any in yet. <laughs> that is their six second play. Oh, like intimidation. <laughs> it is now Ulu's turn. Fuck. Uh, so I believe at the start of her turn yes. she takes damage. So roll the d10 again for the fire. And unless she chooses to put herself out, she's going to continue to take that damage. Yeah. Two. That's Two. okay. It's something. It's we haven't something. been able to land any hit. So she feels that there's that burning, but she is so focused mm -hmm. on this I'm crazy lady. Shit. So she's actually going to step forward out of the... Let's see, she can go. She's gonna come one, two, three, four, five, six to here. I believe that'll give the fire elemental an op attack. Yep. So go ahead and do a touch. 20, right? You can roll yeah. a 20 and add, do the touch attack. 16 plus six, so 22. Plus six, so 22. It hits. Oh, so no, as she bitch. goes, you see it reach out and just grab the back of her cloak as she starts mm. to go. Roll your damage. So, oh no! But she stays. She stays where she was. Yeah. But as Ulu moves away from her, mm -hmm. she's able to reach like, forward what am I and grab a vulnerable yeah. spot. Mm. Plus three. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve damage. Fire One two. Damage. Mm -hmm. Twelve fire damage. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So it reaches out, and again, war kind of catches on fire, and you see her cringe a little bit, but it doesn't mm. seem to stop her. She's up to that space, and as she's marching forward, she's doing this, and she pushes her hands forward, and a gust of energy comes out towards you. Please make a constitution save. Yeah. 21. Yeah. yeah. You are still going to take half of this damage. Mm -hmm. That is nine. Plus five, you take 14 mm -hmm. thunder damage and six, nine, 13, plus four, 17, 17 necrotic damage. And so you take half of all that. Okay. And you aren't knocked prone. And you okay. have resistance. So I have you the have resistance and you have to necrotic. And a quarter of the necrotic. So that would be four necrotic damage and seven thunder. 
Yes, okay. I think that's right. So it's 11. So she pushes this energy out in the thunder wave. <sighs> Boom, it echoes all the way through the cavern. Mm -hmm. um, and as it hits you, you feel it rock your body, but you're able to sort of withstand it. Mm -hmm. And then again, you feel that sense of your life force being sucked out, but you tamp it down as mm -hmm. best you can, only taking a bit of it. I um, need help, guys. <laughs> that is her turn. She deals a lot Annabelle. of damage. Yeah. Your turn. So I'm going to create three rays of fire. All right. All towards her. One, two, three. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> what do so I do? Excited. So you so make you a spell attack. <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're going to roll, roll three spell attacks. Three of these? Uh-huh. Can Plus, I borrow a d20, please? Of yeah. course. Ooh, she's doing a well one. No! Oh, no, girl! Uh, <laughs> oh Come on. 11, 3, 15. Ooh. Plus 6, okay, I need so 7. So plus 18 21. plus 17. No, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah. 21 here. There's three attacks. Three yeah. attacks. So you've got So you've all got these 21. are each, each a ball of you've fire. You've got 17. Or a ray of fire. And then you've got 9. Yeah. So, so <laughs> there's a 21, a 17, and a 9 yes. with all of her things. Yes. Mm -hmm. The 21 will hit, the others will not. <clears throat> okay. Roll your damage on that one bolt. On a D8? 2D6. A 6. Uh, Plus all, all together. Yeah. Okay, great. So Annabella steps forward as as Ulu casts this wave and the thunder goes out. You come up from behind and snipe one, two, three rays of fire coming out of your hand. Two of them go wide, but one hits true. Again, lighting up more of her body on fire as she seems to just hold it back. Annabella, I command <clears throat> my fire elemental <laughs> to light this lady up. Okay. Just brutal <laughs> barrel. I want a scalper. Scalper <laughs> with the fire. Wow. Barrel, it is your turn. What would you like to do? I'm going to move up to her. All right. In May wow. Love it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing anything to her at range. i got to even up this freaking fight. All right. You run forward. I run right forward. Right up in her face. Yeah. And, and you see this as you're shooting your, your rays and it's missing and the one hits strong, you see Beryl just begin to run forward. Just, Feet just thudding. Absolute mm -hmm. determination. Yeah, you hear a cackle go out as Chief is whizzing around <laughs> yes. the room. Yeah. yeah, talking mad shit like, come on, pull your head out of your ass and hit her. <laughs> um, and I pull out my holy axe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I say, uh, I'm going to cut you down to size, witch. And I hit her. All right. Oh, can I get my d20 back? Are you yes. recklessly attacking? It is your first. If I give her advantage, actually, right she's going to hit me anyway because I have no AC. Reckless attack All it right, is. go for it. Okay, yes. nat 20. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I have, oh I'm a barbarian, so I got them savage attacks, yo. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> On criticals, I get to roll one of the weapon's damage dice and add it a second time. So you're going to roll your dice three times <laughs> for that attack mm -hmm. and add your bonuses for not only raging, mm -hmm. but also for mm -hmm. uh, the axe. Mm -hmm. I got so excited about it, I forgot what it did. So I got a four and a three, so that's a seven. seven. And a six. And a six, nice. Yeah, so that's 13. Two for dan for raging. Mm -hmm. Two for raging, so that's 15. And then plus six is what the weapon has on it. Six is right for the weapon with yeah. that. All right, so here we go. 21. All right. And then I have so to ask the question, does this creature have less than 25 HP? No. <laughs> OK. And is she undead? She is. So she's going to take 2d12 radiant damage. So on the crit, you're going to get two rolls of your damage die. Roll 4d12 radiant. Oh my god. We're going to light her up. Yeah. <laughs> the 4th of July. OK, yeah. so I got a 12, a 5, that's 17, a 4, that's 21, and a 6, that's 27. 27 radiant. On top of what I already did. The 21 slashing. Barrel, this is just your first attack. Yeah, <laughs> I have one more. Beryl runs forward. She raises this ax above her head, brings it down. Mm. Man, does she slice right through her. She'll take the 21 slashing damage mm -hmm. and the 27 radiant. You have done a total of 48 hit points of damage. Wow. Yeah! Woo! That's my barrel. <laughs> <laughs> and I look at you and I just go like this. <laughs> yeah! This one's for you, Annabella. <laughs> no one kills my friends. So make your second And now I'm going to try to get her on the backswing, too. Go for it. All right. So this one does not have advantage. All right. And an 18 plus a 9, 27. That's hit. All right. Yeah! So you're not okay. going to get your crit. You're going to roll just a 1d8. 1d8. Plus 
six. So I got a seven plus six, that's 13, 13 plus, plus two, two from two. raging. So that's 15, 15, right off the top. Boom. And then she's gonna take two D12 on top of that. Uh -huh. oh my God. 14. 14 more. I must ask again, does she have less than 25 HP? I'll, I'll tell you in a moment. But I don't <laughs> <laughs> less than 25 HP. Oh no, I'm gonna ask. Not yet. But uh -huh. holy crap. <laughs> yeah. So as you come forward and take her once mm -hmm. and twice, just cutting her down. Laughing can, maniacally. You can actually see she's a little shook. Mm -hmm. She did not think that this was how this was going to go. The last time you were so easy. You've done well, Beryl. Okay, uh, is good. there anything else you need want to do on this turn? I'm just going to laugh at her. You did your two attacks, one yep. with a crit. Mm -hmm. You're laughing. I'm laughing in you her face. You are absolutely laughing. All right. As her um, blood, as the blood splatter starts <laughs> wrenching me, you just hear me say, "Be gone, thought!" <laughs> just like <laughs> cutting her down. Go back in your pack. It is Zora's turn. <laughs> so, oh, uh, something that's interesting is that Akiva's distracted. She's distracted. By yes, and by you're right behind her. And he was doing such a stellar job of seduction. He's trying to play games with me. Yep. But don't I want to try to cut her down? <laughs> yeah, cut her head yeah. off. Okay. 14 plus 6. Dirty 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. You hit. Yeah! So you come up behind her, your axe above you. You're going to do your normal damage, and then we'll add your divine smite. 2 plus 3. 8, 4, and 3. Okay. So 15. 15. So as she's talking to Viros, he has a little too much of a smile, and he's like, she's like, going on, but before she can do anything about it, oh, there's a great uh, sword ah! in her back as Sora makes that scream coming up behind her. And as it makes contact, she calls upon her gods and uh, divine radiant energy flows through her sword yes. into Akiva who goes, oh, oh my god, I thought we were friends. <laughs> Dad, <Dab> bitch. <laughs> I think that's your action. I think that'll do it so. for Zora. Ricky, your turn. Oh wait! Oh oh! Wait. Oh, you no. get to make two attacks. Yes. You make two attacks. Yes. Oh oh! Pull so it out. It's not good right enough again. for one. You pull it out of her back and go it's for a second. Fourteen plus six. Turn it. Twenty. 20. You hit. Go for it. Oh. Second attack. Plus three is 11. It's 11, but as Zora comes up from behind and slashes ah! once, divine power scorching through her blade as it lights up Akiva's back. She then rears back, pulling it out again, slashing a second time. This time Akiva has turned to right to see what's happened. This time you come in through the front. And I say, Ow. yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he said, where'd oh, you come that. from? Oh my God, that hurts. <laughs> Ricky, your turn. Okay. Still in rat form. I'm gonna scamper <laughs> yes. over. Five, 10, 15, 20. Gotcha. Oops. And I'm gonna put up this fire elemental. Stay. <laughs> Come back to myself. Oh, and then, uh, that? so that is a bonus action. So that's my bonus gone. Okay, gotcha. And I'm gonna reach in and inspired by Annabella, oh. I'm gonna pull out this weird disc uh -huh. that looks like it's full of fluid uh -huh. and sort of crack it like a glow stick uh -huh. and shake it a bit and it starts glowing bright red, red hot, and then I just go yeet! <laughs> right at Ulu? Right at Ulu, and okay. it's heat metal. <laughs> heat metal, and I make a con saving throw yep. or something? Yeah, okay, here it goes. Oh, that's for a long. Do not make it, I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, so this disc comes and it hits Ulu in the chest while she's distracted. She's just taken a beating from barrel one, Damn right. two. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jeez. trying to hold it together, and then this disc hits her in the chest. I failed it, so I'm gonna take your full damage. Okay, so that's... Her, her breastplate starts to glow orange, yellow. 10 points of fire damage. 10 points of fire damage on that. And then... <laughs> I can use a bonus action on each of the turns subsequently to cause the damage again. Okay. Unless it it tries to take it off. Right, unless I take it off. But I have to take a whole like turn to take, or like a minute or something. It's like crazy yep. to take your armor. Take All right, she's got disadvantage. It's a great spell. It's a great spell. <laughs> so yeah, that hits her in the chest and it starts to glow bright red. <laughs> you hear her yell at this moment. Viros, I she has now flipped around yeah. and, and taken this other sword to this side and you are behind her. I say right behind her head, sorry, my darling, not sorry. 
I wind up with the Warhammer uh -huh. right above the head. We're talking like hammer and nail style. Ooh, okay. We're going for the head. Roll your attack. Come on. It's a five plus, shit, seven. It's not gonna hit her. I do it again. Okay, go for it. It's a four plus seven. Okay, oh, that, that D20's gotta that's go gone. away. That's gone, that one's relieving that one, yeah. yeah. Goes uh, to the microwave later. Action surge, do it again. Okay, go for it. Oh my god. Six plus what? Plus seven? Seven. Thirteen. You miss. This is so. ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, he gets two attacks with action surge. He does. Yeah, One I'm more. gonna attack again. One more, go for it. <laughs> Reaching up from behind her. Sixteen, 16 plus seven. Plus yes. seven? Yes. All right, Three so attempts. That is twenty-three. Mm. God. All right, you come around behind. One, two, <laughs> Three, you just can't quite get her, but the last one, you're like, take a second to make sure it's true, coming right down the top of the I head. just scream with everything I got, ah! and I down It's because she's so pretty. I, it's hard okay. for me, she's I'm really, struggling. She's really, it's like, her hair is really like, pretty. Goes and stops. Like, <laughs> He's uh, like, doesn't want to do it. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why would she want to hurt her, okay? Uh, so roll then, your damage. God, oh my God. <laughs> oh no. What the hell? One plus. Uh, uh, four. four. Is five. What the hell was that round? <laughs> you got this, buddy. You can do it. Well, I did hit, so I want to trip her. You trip her? Yeah. Go for it. So, so after all that. You, you miss her, then uh, the anger, you go down on the top of her head, and then you're going to sweep down below her yeah. legs on the same move. Same move. So cast your D8, because you're going to add that damage. Three. An extra three. Plus four. Or just adding that, adding the three. We're adding that, adding and, then, the and then I think I make a dex saving throw to see if I can go, it doesn't matter. As you hit her legs with that, you hear a crack, and her leg breaks, blood starting to split. As she falls to the ground, she says, but I'm so pretty. <laughs> and the light goes out of her eye. What? What? Vero's killed her! She's gonna point that out. So my two <laughs> babies. He goes, he goes, you guys are doing this but over. mostly you wrecked shit. <laughs> over her, over her, her body. broken, destroyed, <laughs> bloody body on the ground. Good job. <laughs> that was all you. <laughs> that was a lot of you. Oh my god. It's a team Fire elemental. Yeah. Oh. What's its speed? 50, I think. Yeah, speed so is 50. 10 squares, including diagonal. So it slides mm -hmm. right up into her space. Four. Again, I think she's gonna immediately take that fire damage yeah. from it entering into her space. Yep. Mm -hmm. Roll your d10. Six. Okay. Now it's gonna make two touch attacks. Go ahead and roll okay. your roll your attacks. Two. Yes, you can roll Plus two. Plus six. Plus six on each. I mean, it's not great, but it's not horrible. Okay. We've got an 11 and a 12. And a 13. Oh, mm -hmm. With your pluses. Yes, yeah. Neither of those are gonna hit. It's gonna try, it comes into her space, and again, everything kind of lights up on fire, and it tries to get a good hold on her, but it just can't. Her armor's slippery or something. Even though it's hot, they can't quite get a bolt. I think that's the end of the fire elemental's turn. We are back up to Ulu, who has disadvantage. She is on fire. She's gonna take <laughs> that fire damage to start yeah. with it. Okay. A work, eh? She's doing it from, from heat metal and also from being on fire. So yeah. one D10. So that's eight from the eight heat metal. Eight from you. And six from me. Okay. No, or is that a nine? A nine. Nine. <gasps> nine from you. Everything is on fire. Her hood, her skin, that gray decaying skin is even starting to, to, to burn and singe and fall off. You're seeing the bones underneath. She screams to keep it together. She grabs her long sword, pulling it over above her head. You see her kind of grit her teeth and the sword lights up a little bit and she brings it down right on barrel. I have disadvantage on this attack. Here it goes. 15. That hits. That hits. Let's try her second attack. That's gonna hit. And her third attack is gonna hit. All three of these are going to hit you with this sword. Mm -hmm. So that is 17 oh my God. slashing damage. Okay. Which you are raging, so you take half of. Yes, yeah, so I only take eight. So I only take eight. So I'm you're gonna, gonna take die. that three times. <laughs> Oh, 24 damage? She hit you three times. Okay. Because you're going to get necrotic from her as well, which you are resistant, I mean, resistant to. I'm resistant, but yeah. Six. 
and nine, so that's okay. 15. You'll take half of that times okay. three. I go down to zero, but right. I do have relentless endurance. You do. So I pop back up. I, you, you see Barrel go down, yep. and then so. you see Chief come by and be like, get up off your ass. And then you see her kind of like stand back up, but she is like, Barrel got pulls this nothing weapon left. Out. Slash, slash, slash. There's almost mm -hmm. nothing left of Barrel who falls to the ground. But then Chief comes by and mm -hmm. tells her to get off her ass. She pops back up, blood just dripping down her face. It is Anna's turn. Oh my God. I'm gonna move and I'm gonna heal her. Okay. I want to get. I'm gonna get, get in close range enough to give of her. her. Some healing. So how close do I have to be? Thirty feet. Is it sixty? Sixty feet. Okay. Sixty feet. You still look like a kiva. <laughs> you right. still look like a kiva. You could use that to your advantage. Well, healing word is a bonus action. Yeah. So go ahead and do that. And do that first. You, and yeah. Move. Move in close enough to sixty feet. One, but even that two, three, close enough. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Your healing word for Beryl. My sister, my friend, look into my eyes and feel your body repair. I have you now and I'll have you always. Look at me with this stare. <laughs> Do you clutch your shark BFF necklace while you do it? Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Roll your healing. Real now. quick, you said you could use this as a bonus action, but mm -hmm. you can make this a higher level spell and get more <laughs> from it. What, you can do first and second level? Or can yeah, I can, third? I can do a second level only. Okay, so with that you could do 2d4. Let's do it. Let's do 2d4. Get it okay. too high. No, no, 2d4. These two. Oh, just kidding, JK, JK. <laughs> plus your spell casting modifier. Probably a plus six. Ooh, oh, oh. We like those numbers. Eight. 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 Eight plus six. Plus six, you get 14 hit points. Here we are. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, she falls to her knees. Ulu stands over her triumphant. But the spirit guardian comes and Beryl pops back up. Meanwhile, Annabella rushes close. She speaks to her sister, her friend. You feel the life force start to grow within you. It is now no. your turn. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, it's turn. your turn still. Yes, it's my turn. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. So I look a like action. a Kiva. You look like a Kiva. Oh, that was a It was a full action, but you can speak as a free action. You can speak as a free action, yes. Okay, so. Yeah, I just... Well, she can't do a check, but she oh, can so speak. So I'm sure. hoping that, like, Ulu is in so much pain that she didn't catch that because I was really just speaking with my mind. <laughs> okay. And I look at Ulu... You said sister. As Akiva, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And I go, what have you done? How could you let this happen? How foolish and unintelligent could you be to watch everything I designed crumble? and I try and get in her head. Okay. Beryl pops back up, takes this healing, ooh, hears this taunt from behind her. She goes, <sighs> throws her hand back at her as she, as she sort of glares at the triumph that she has, this bloody, destroyed woman that stands in front of her mm -hmm. with your last ounce of strength. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna slice her to shreds. That's it, girl. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna make two attacks. Yes, Go you are. It. With the holy axe. Oh God, please strike true. I got a 24 and a 14. The 24 will hit. Okay. You raise it above your head. You see it, it flashes in the light. Mm -hmm. The rest of you can see it bouncing off the walls from mm -hmm. the firelight. It's a flash as it comes down onto uh, Ulu. Go ahead, make okay. your damage. So it's gonna be four, six, 10, 12 damage. 12 damage. On the first hit, On and the then it's gonna hit. do 2d12. Uh -huh. So an additional 11. No, 11 radiant flashes off this yeah. blade as it comes down. Yeah. Beryl, your blade slices down into her body. You see her eyes glow brighter. She says out loud, to be undone by a weakling. And the light goes out. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> We're out of initiative. <laughs> you got two dead sisters. At this moment, you're all sort of pause. You do you do a little scream like, as it comes ah! down to see who does. For this one over here is about us. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> we did it! From way in the back, from where you saw the Gilliman retreat, uh. you hear a deep voice say, impressive. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> you see a woman, tall, purple skin, snakes sliding out of her head. She says, I'll meet you someday. Later. 
and she disappears back into the darkness. Good. And you never see her again. <laughs> good, good, good. I just wanted you to see her. Oh, she's yeah. very fucking cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go, uh, all right. What do you want to do? Oh, <laughs> I give the. Here, I give you. Oh, I want to give. Oh, oh go, I, mean, I want to give some, oh. some healing. Oh, that's, yes, she has a pool of I healing. I want to lay on hands and give a pool of healing. Zora oh, runs you. up on top of Beryl, who is who's sort of collapsed a little yeah. bit from, from the exhaustion that she feels of all of this, and she places her hands on her. Yes. Do you give her everything you got? I give her everything I got, man. 30 hit points. 30 hit points. Ooh. There we are. As she puts her hand better. on your heart and on your head, your hands begin to glow and this energy comes out and you see it spread from your fingers into her body and you literally see mm. the wounds on her body begin to knit themselves back up with the power of, of your light yeah. and your goodness and your God. 45. Here, have a good berry. <laughs> Munch on that. Thank you. You're welcome. The fire Eat elemental the turns to you and says, what do you wish? Uh, you can order it. You can I can order, order it, it yes. to stay here and protect the village. Okay. The townspeople. Until other people come to help. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. In Other case, like, you know, benevolent people yeah, come. Yeah. That's to. what I'd like to do. I'd like to address it to stay and protect the people that live here, the good people. Well, I suppose you could tell it to listen to Caroline. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. And listen to Caroline. All right. That's what I would like to do. So you tell it to listen to Caroline. Uh, Caroline's been sort of hiding off around the corner, <laughs> trying to stay she's out like of the. Up there, yeah. yeah. Stay. That's right. She's up there trying to stay out of the fray. The elemental floats up to her and says, "What would you wish?" And she says, "Just." Just hold on a minute. <laughs> Stay yeah. there. So yeah, so what would you like to do? Where would you I would go? like to loot the bodies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, all of these crates and things like that, say, you look in what it. What was her machinations? Filled with black onyx gems, mm. lots of different, a lot mm. of the things that you found on the ship, mm. so bull's hair, things like that. Just make an arcana check. Okay. Since, or whoever has good arcana. I have good arcana too. Oh, six. Oh, six, you don't know. Who else has good arcana? Um, mm. I think I've, I have plus six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An 18. An 18 on what? Arcana from Vera. <laughs> I, know, I missed a few. I missed a few earlier. What'd you get? Vera goes, I can't believe I didn't see this before. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. These are all the components you need to, like, make ghillie men and make zombies and stuff. This is what they've been using to make their army. Oh. I was so distracted by Akiva the first time around, but I absorbed some things when we were there. Mm. Uh, so yes, lots of components involved in that kind of work. But what's on them? What's on them? Yeah. Oh, oh, on the bodies. On the bodies. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. What does Akiva have? <laughs> you guys can check the crates. I'll scamper around and do this. Fair enough. <laughs> Akiva does have some crystals mm -hmm. on her. You can take the crystals. Yep. Bat guano and sulfur. Mine now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a feather. Okay. She also has a snake's tongue. Yeah. And some honeycomb. Great. She's a woman after my own heart. Yes, she is. <laughs> I want the crystals. That's okay. what that's I want what Akiva's something got. Something from Ulu. Yeah. So I remember what she did to me. Mm. So Ulu oh, is still Burno. She's just a, a husk of skin and bone and 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 the oh. metal is all that really still and it's still burning hot. No, I, I can um, cancel that. You can cancel it. Yeah. So but but everything else is still kind of on fire and smoldering in a in a in a pile on the ground at Beryl's triumphant feet. Chop off a hand. Take a bone hand. I'm very skilled in the creation of totems. Would you like a hand carved totem of her bones? <laughs> it will go Right on my fireplace. <laughs> Fire. What's Place. your favorite yeah. animal? A dog. So I take a large femur. Uh -huh. Oh, God. <laughs> with my little set and chisel her a little dog totem sitting like this. Because yes. that's how I imagine Annabella <laughs> would like it. Gross. Your very own totem. It's a little sooty and kind of singed, but, you know. I'll never forget where I've been. Thank you. As you gather your things and, and go out, Ulu, Ulu doesn't have much on her. Mm -hmm. That sword looked pretty fancy. You want to take her longsword? Veros, do you need anything? Or no. Zora? Do you I like don't it? need a thing. Just mm -hmm. my friend. It's just a longsword. It does, uh, you look, it doesn't have any magical properties unless... You can keep it. Well, it's bigger than I it's am, too, so too I'm just going to leave for it. Him. Okay, <laughs> going to leave it. All right. You make your way back out of the caves with all of your friends. Or is there anything you want to do before you leave? If I may implore you, we valued your service here, but these people could use your leadership. 
perhaps you could take over and help them at least get back on their feet. I know it's a lot to ask, but they do owe me quite a bit of money. <laughs> well, you kept the receipt, Ricky. I sure did. Oh boy. I think that the holy symbol of my leaky goddess of the forest will allow for me to watch over them until they are able to sustain themselves. And Caroline was such a huge help in all of this. I would be an honor to help her people. Caroline holds her hand out and you shake, a deal being made. She then sort of looks down that passage where the ghillie men were going. She approaches it very carefully and sticks her head in. <gasps> she goes back in horror as she speckens you all to come with here. You come down this little passage and follow it around and there appears to be something of a throne room set up. And standing in all of these places are her fellow townsfolk petrified into stone. It's because they looked at her freaking snake hair. <laughs> It is. Astute. Oh, she's like Medusa. Hmm. And she got away. <laughs> yes. Well, you'll be damned if you let her back in that throne room. But the yeah. prophecy has been broken. Yeah. Mm. The three sisters can no longer come together mm. because we murderized two of them. <laughs> and we only had to do one. Mm. No, not on our watch. Well, the day's not hers. I guarantee you, Caroline, I will do everything in my power to research a cure for this terrible affliction. She walks up, touching the faces of the people that she recognizes, and she says, thank you. Thank you. They are all innocents, I promise you. And they are not lost. Mm. And there is another exit that goes back to a little underground river, uh, and you do see that there was a mooring there that at one point a boat would have been moored into. It got uh, she got away on the boat. She got away on the boat. Mm. You come back, you rise back out, and you see that actually your friend Dexter has returned with only just another four people, but it's enough to have set up a proper ladder system while the other ones mm. are beginning to try to hack down this wall that has kept them in prison for so many months. Mm. Uh, but some of the stronger ones have climbed over and and it seems as though they're starting to get themselves out. You make sure that everyone is okay and then mount your horses. It sounds like Zora is going to stay with the town and make sure everyone stays safe. Stick around, keep my uh, aura of protection around them. Mm -hmm. Would you guys like to say a goodbye before you mount your horses and leave? Thank Zora, you. sister, you. your bravery touches my heart. You were most impressive striking down that Severely hot, Akiva. <laughs> I was so impressed. I've learned a lot from your stealth and your movements. I'll try to be a better warrior based on you. I'll take that as an honor. <laughs> your bravery to enter into a mission solo without us, within five minutes of knowing us, shows an inner strength that I wish to only learn from. Thank you. We would have perished surely this day <laughs> had you not been here. We owe you our lives. And I don't say that easily. <laughs> you jump on your horses and continue back to relics and rarities. Professor Roundland is waiting at the windows looking out and she sees you. She bursts forth and grabs you all in a giant hug, hugging you close to her. Somebody dies. She brings you and sets you down, makes sure that each of you is all right. And she says, I cannot tell you how grateful the realm is. You all are true heroes. You have also proven yourself worthy members of the R&R Brigade. And to recognize yourself to others, we have membership pins. Oh. This is how others will know you as part of our secret brigade. Oh my goodness. As well as how you will recognize others. Thank you. This is fantastic. We also put one on the foot of a pigeon and send it off to find Zora, who is now an official member oh. of the R&R Brigade as well. Thank you all so much for your service. Wear them with pride, but don't tell anybody, because we are a secret society. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here and doing this thing. And I love you all. <laughs>